Good news for the sun. We get some sweet and salty chocolate bark to go with that sun as well. We've got Michelle uh, Holbrook from Michelle's uh, Gourmet Popcorn and Sweet Shop in Epsom. Michelle, okay. tell us about this sweet and salty bark. What goes into this very tasty confection here? Well, we are putting our own signature caramel popcorn in there. Mm -hmm. That's the sweet part, along with some crushed potato chips and crushed salted peanuts very with tasty. dark chocolate. So, What do you start with here in terms of melting the chocolate? We have two pounds of chocolate that we're melting on a double boiler. Just warm up some water. You could even use a bowl. If you had, if you don't have a double boiler, but yeah. this is the best way to do it. So what I've done is I've taken like a cookie sheet mm -hmm. and I've lined it with wax paper with a, a little bit of an overhang on each side because yeah. you are going to need to lift it out of the yeah, pan after. Uh -huh. um, I've already taken the time to crush everything up, but you don't want to like make it crumbs. You just want it to kind of be. Do you use your hands or do you use a? Um, I have a little meat mallet, just meat tenderizer ah. um, is what I use, but I suppose you could use your hands or a rolling <laughs> pin. Right. Um, and we're just going to sprinkle this in the pan. So it's about two ounces of, of every other ingredient. You mm -hmm. could do less, you could do more. Depending on sweet versus salty, right? Correct. To your taste. Exactly. But you definitely need the two pounds of chocolate for this size um, cookie sheet. Mm -hmm. um, and then once you have the chocolate completely melted, and your items are already in there, and you could do lots of different ingredients. I mean, you could put chocolate chips and M&Ms, whatever your mm -hmm. heart desires. Um, and then we are going to just pour it into the pan. As you're doing this, can you explain how you guys uh, settle upon new flavors of popcorn? Do you guys come up with these in um, experimental? Well, some of them are industry standard flavors. Um, there's a few that we have that are unique to us alone, but mm -hmm. sometimes we get customer requests enough times that we decide we're going to give it a try, and if everything is, you know, available to us. Dark chocolate mint that we carry right. was a customer request after numerous requests. What's I the most unique think. one that you thought, there's no way this is going to work and ended up tasting great? Um, coconut lime curry. Huh. It's actually a seasonal flavor for us, but I wasn't too keen on the idea, but it goes well um, with wine and beer. All right. So you're spreading the chocolate I'm around gonna here. Spread it. I'm going to spread the chocolate out here, kind of incorporating all the little ingredients mm -hmm. um, until, oops, as I spill some here. <laughs> Until everything's covered, basically, is what you're going to do. Just mm -hmm. keep spreading it to the side because it won't set up immediately. Yep. And I'll move this off to the side yep. just so you can see it. This is going to be the. This is what I got this. Yeah, thank you. The finished product this here. This is the finished product. So basically, once you've spread it all out, you don't have to refrigerate it or anything unless you want to and you're in a hurry, you want to eat it. But um, you're just going to lift it out of the pan mm -hmm. and then you would, you know, pull off the wax paper because nobody wants to eat wax paper. <laughs> And then basically you're just going to break it up into pieces. Looks fantastic. Now I would use, you know, gloves, but yeah. and this is what it looks like once you're finished. Very so tasty. You're great All right. for gifting. You're in Epsom, and we'll see you at the Made in New Hampshire Expo as well. Yes. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you. We'll be right back.